Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Info Heads plugin. Now this is a really cool plugin which allows you to assign loads of information to one of these heads. Now using another plugin you can customize the heads but by default you can use these ones and there's a couple of other ones as well. And what we can do is have a player or myself right click any of these and we can make it do certain things. We can make it happen only once, we can make it happen every X amount of time and you can change to have commands or messages, loads of stuff like that. It's really cool and it's easy to do using a GUI. So I've got a few examples here. This first one, this one is going to show the current ticks per second on the server which is currently 20 which is what you want it to be. The next one I've created um, uses placeholder API, which is how I got the rainbow text, which is pretty cool. The next one is going to set it to date. It's going to say hello and the player's name and give them $10. And this one can only be used every few seconds. Otherwise, it will give you this command saying you have to wait and then we can use it again. The next one is simply going to have the console set it to nighttime and it's going to say night in chat. And this one is every five seconds. And then if we wait for this one, we can set it back to daytime. And then this final one, every time you click it, it will give you a million dollars. Now, obviously, you want to be careful what commands you assign these to make sure they're not too overpowered like that. So those were a couple of examples. Uh, let's go ahead and create one of our own. So if we do for slash info heads, that's going to show you all of the commands. Now, the first thing we can do is wizard. That will give you all of these different heads. So by default, they are a few different arrows, exclamation mark, chest, and then a Facebook one, in fact. So once you pop one down, it's going to bring up the wizard GUI. Now, if you accidentally exit out of that, you can go ahead and do info heads edit while looking at the block you want to edit to bring it back up. So the first thing we can do is append a message. So you can use color codes, which is really cool and we could use something like this is a test and then if we were to right click it it will pop up in bold and green this is a test now if you wanted to put some information you could obviously download placeholder api this is a soft append so you don't have to use it so if we wanted to create a new message uh, we could paste in something like this so this is a placeholder this will grab the server ram that's being used we could even put um, a nice color code with it and let's put some text before that that will say RAM being used and then hit enter and then when we right click it it will say RAM being used in green and then it's using 1520 uh, RAM at the moment so as you can see that constantly changes and it constantly updates every time you click it so that's very cool let's go ahead and go back into the edit section see what else we can do we can have a console or a player command so if we click the console command uh, like I did before, you can set it to maybe rain, and then every time I click it, it will hopefully start raining. And if it doesn't, you could obviously go back in here and maybe set it to night. We know that one works, and there we go, we have set it to night. So that is something you could do uh, with that. Now, if you want to use a player's name, what you want to look down here is at the placeholders so obviously placeholder api as i mentioned you can get tons of them but by default these are the current ones so you can get their x y and z coordinates or certain blocks so let's click console command and do eco give squiggly brackets player hyphen name squiggly bracket and then an amount like I don't know, 54 and then every time you click it 54 dollars will be added to the player's account now obviously you don't want them to sit here and spam it so you can go down to the cooldown delay down here and then this is pretty cool you can set weeks up to seconds how often do you want people to be able to click it so this would be three minutes and then obviously you could do that would be uh, a day uh, this would be five seconds or ten seconds so you can really customize it which is very cool so let's do ten seconds and then you can obviously edit the name of the head if you really want to you can give a player a temporary permission if you want and then if you don't like the location of the head you can click this location button and then you can replace the location so it's over here and now when I click this one it will give me $54 and this one now doesn't do anything and I can remove it. So another cool thing you can do is edit the order of the info head. So in here you can click this and you can see we've got the first message, the second message about RAM, you've got the two console commands, so the rain one that one didn't work so we can right click to delete that. And then we can move things around, maybe put the RAM message first and then the test message, or we could put the test message at the back. So that's pretty cool that you can just move 
all of the commands and messages to your liking in whatever order you want. Another cool thing is the one-time item. So this will allow you to only use it once. So if you want to give the player a certain amount of money or items, they can click it once and that is it. They can only use it um, the first time. So that is how you would use it in game. You can see there's loads of cool options and you can even download another plugin uh, which will give it particle effects, although I haven't personally downloaded that one. So that is what it looks like in game. Very, very cool and very handy. This would be useful to have in spawn so players can you know, either get money, items, information, links to website, whatever, you name it. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are two YML files and a data storage file. The config really doesn't have much in. All it has is all the heads you get when you do the wizard command. Now, if you want to edit these or add more heads, the way you can do that is using a plugin called Head Database. Unfortunately, this is a premium plugin um, and you'd use it uh, as such here. Um, so I don't have that plugin, so I can't test that. But if you did have that plugin, you could do that. And then if we go back and go into the messages.yml, this is where you could edit the various messages and anything in the GUI. Although personally, I think it looks pretty nice and you don't really have to. Here we are on the Spigot page. It's updated from 1.8 to 1.17, although it is working for 1.18, which is good. And then this is obviously what it looks like. This is everything we did in game. It's very easy to do. And if we scroll down, here are the soft dependencies. So you don't need these, but I'd recommend getting placeholder API. That's free. Uh, head database, that's the premium one. So obviously if you click it, it will say an error. And then block particles, this is what you can use to get particle effects around them. And that is also free to download. And then if you have any issues or comments, you can contact them on Discord as well. And then here are the permissions you can use. And that is the plugin. So if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>